Hello, and today we are going to uh, cover how to make Google Forms customized uh, to whatever style you would like. Uh, so for the demo, for the example, um, I have up on the screen now, this is a uh, <laughs> kind of a humorous little um, intro I have here, and it's a contact form. So if you click this button, the form appears, and I'll just go ahead and test it real fast. Okay, so we'll hit send. And now you'll notice it takes, it redirects us to a Google Form page that says your response has been recorded. Now you can also change that if you'd like, uh, if you don't want that to be the page it redirects to. Uh, and that's a whole nother step, but the point is that uh, there's the spreadsheet that stores the uh, form submissions and there is the test that we just submitted right there. And I also have this set up to notify me by email every time somebody submits one. So that's pretty nifty as well. So anyway, anyway I'm, this tutorial kind of assumes that you're already familiar with what Google Forms is. and um, if you're not, real quick, uh, hang on here. Okay, so if you open up Google Drive um, and you hit the Create button, you'll notice that one of the options is a form. So you can actually create a web form that people can submit. So, that being said, you'll end up with something that looks a lot like this. And, you know, this is, this is fine, and it's functional, um, and it works, uh, but it's not very spiffy looking, and uh, the templates that Google offers um, for forms uh, are kind of limited, and there's not very many, and some of them are just plain ugly, so. And also at the bottom, you have this, um, this powered by Google Forms, and all these disclaimers from Google, and all this other stuff here that... Uh, that's perfectly fine, but some people, you know, might not like that because it just doesn't look as professional. And uh, there's a reason for that because it's not as professional. <laughs> but uh, but basically, we're going to work around that so that uh, this is actually the exact same form right here as the one that I started out showing you, which is back here. And this is the exact same form and. You know, submitting both will end up in the same spreadsheet here, so it doesn't matter. Um, but this one, I think, looks a lot niftier. I don't know about you. And it doesn't have to look like this. It can look however you'd like. But, and uh, f before we move on any further, I would like to give full credit uh, for this form style to um, cssdeck.com, because uh, this is, as you can see, where I found this, um, this particular form style. And I have included the link to this uh, to this page in the description, so that um, so that you can go there and see the the original um, credit there. So anyhow, okay. So that being said, basically, once you've created your Google form and you end up with you know something along this, uh, we're just making a simple contact form. So you know I made it just the bare essentials: name, email, subject, message. So that's pretty much the bare minimum for a contact form, right? Okay. So what you want to do from here is right-click anywhere in this page and then go View Page Source. That's going to open up a tab that looks like this, which is kind of scary looking, I realize, and it's a lot of long gibberish. But we are actually going to concern ourselves with very little of this. So the easiest way to do this is to, to go to CSS Deck and to uh, copy the HTML, the CSS, and the JavaScript so that you have this form. So you recreate this form essentially. and if you're not sure how to do that or how to save um, an HTML file, then you'll definitely want to click on the link in the description to my other tutorial, which shows you exactly how to do this. So anyhow, this this kind of does assume that you have some familiarity with with basic HTML um, files and uh, manipulations. So 
otherwise this tutorial would be incredibly long. But if people are, are super interested in um, a more detailed uh, tutorial on how to do this, then I'd be happy to do that. I just didn't want to bore people to death. And uh, we'll see if this uh, suffices. So anyhow, so the easiest way is to do that, to start out with this form uh, in its own file. So, and then from there, to open up in Notepad or whatever text editor you prefer using, uh, both the file for this form and also for the uh, Google form version, which is right here. And so to save this as an HTML file, all you do is simply copy all of this, this entire page, which in Google Chrome, you can just go Control A to select all, and then, you know, copy, and then you would open Notepad or, or your text editor and save it there. So anyhow, so you need to have it uh, both open in some sort of editing program. Uh, I use Notepad because it's simple and easy. So what we need to replace in the original, in the pink original one that we want to make it look like, uh, as you'll see here, here's the original markup right here. So, and if we go to our, our Google form and the source for that, what we need to grab, there are two things. Um, the first one is the the uh, form action line. So you want to look for right here. I'm going to highlight it. Okay, so in your Google form, you want to go over here and you want to define in page. That's easiest. And put form action. And that will help you locate this particular line. So what we need from this line is the URL that comes after form action equals and there's a quote right there. So we want to select everything between these first two quotes right here. This is just a URL of the form. So we're going to highlight that, we're going to copy it, and we're going to go on over to our our pink form which will look like this mark up here and scroll to let's see right here you'll see form action and it, it actually has nothing in between the quotes so we're gonna just go ahead and paste it in between those quotes okay so that's that's one of the most important uh, steps and there's only one other thing that we need to do for all of the input fields so input fields are uh, everywhere where the user enters something so in this case name email subject and message so for each one of those we actually need to match it up with the uh, corresponding uh, input field in the Google form, the original Google form. So to do that, I know this is a lot of um, stuff to look at at once, it's kind of confusing, but basically the easiest way to, to do this and to, um, to uh, isolate each one of these is to go, let's see, what we're actually looking for is the name. So, okay, <clears throat> bear with me here for just a moment. Okay, yeah, so in the original markup you'll see here it says, okay, so it, you can see in the black here, each the black is what's actually on the screen, so which is why we see name, and then we see email, and all the rest is code, so it's, it's a different color. So that's, that's an easy way to spot uh, where the input fields are. So for each one, we'll start with name up here. Uh, in the code right before it, before the black text, it says input type equals text. And the next thing says name equals. And then it's in quotes, it says contact underscore nom. So what we want to do is for each one of these fields, we want to change the name value. So what's in between the quotes after name? And in order to find the right value for that, we want to go back to our Google form code. And we want to simply find the name field here, which right here, as you can see, is also in black to differentiate it from the rest. And so we go before that, right before it. And it says, okay, give me just a second here.
Okay. So I'm sorry, uh, it's actually, it's right after it in this, in the Google form. So right after it, we see input type is text, just like before on the other one, and name equals, and it says entry dot, and it has this long number after it. So we just want to highlight everything between these quotes here for the name value, and we'll just copy it. And in your editor, you would go ahead and for the name, uh, as we have that highlighted already, we just paste that there. And you just go through and do that for all the corresponding fields. Um, so uh, for email, we'd look right after it here, and and you can see that it's kind of in line with the others when you open it in Chrome, like they're kind of lined up, so they're they're easy to find. And you just replace all those um, values. So that was for name. So email name. We'll replace that. So you just go through and do that for all of them. And uh, and then save your your pink form file, HTML file, just save that so that it overwrites all these changes we've made. And then you just go ahead and uh, test your form like we did at the beginning of this and see if it works. So um, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments. I will do my best to uh, help you guys out. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching.